We are learning new details in a shootout in California that left 14 dead, 17 others injured. Police have confirmed the two specs in the shooting, Saeed Farouk and Tafshin Malik, have been killed. Jenna Janes has been looking into the community's reaction to the shooting in San Bernardino, California, for us this morning. She joins us now live. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, Dave and Cerise. Witnesses say and that it was just chaos and panic inside of that regional center during that shooting. Survivors say they locked themselves in conference rooms and offices to barricade themselves from the shooters. They frantically reached out to loved ones. Some could see the rampage through windows and upper floors while they hid. Once police reached them, they were escorted from the building, hands up to a nearby golf course. Stood there for hours, hours, witnessing clothing of deceased ones in the street, um, people crying, co-workers crying, us wanting to get to our children, our families, and our loved ones. Now, a number of those survivors were able to give statements to police about the gunmen, including that they were wearing tactical gear and were carrying assault rifles. It was a tip that led police to Farouk's home, at only about 10 miles away from where the shooting was, and that ultimately led to them catching the suspects. Dave Cerise. All right, Jenna James reporting for us live this morning. Jenna, thank you.